Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech Gamers World. In this video, I'm going to provide you with a demonstration of using the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick to fly helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator on an Xbox Series X. I'm super excited to check out this flight stick and see how well it works with helicopters. As always, please click that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and enable notifications. We'll be right back, so stay tuned. Let's do this. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So we're ready to get started. We're going to be flying today with our Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 flight stick, flying some helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator on an Xbox Series X. So to do that, we want to go ahead and create a free flight. So let's go ahead here and first let's select our helicopter. And we're going to fly today with the one of my favorites, the Gwimbal Cabri G2. Let's go ahead here and select our departure point. It's going to be Newark Liberty International Airport because I'm going to be flying over New York City today. One of the, my favorite places to fly. So because we are a helicopter, we're going to take off from one of the parking areas, not a gate. We'll use ramp 159, set as departure. And our arrival destination is going to be LaGuardia. I'm just going to land anywhere there. Uh, so let's do LaGuardia. And we'll go ahead for good measure and select something that's not a runway. To be fair to all the other fixed wing aircraft flying, I'm going to select gate 96 parking. Set as my rival. For flight conditions, we're basically just going to leave everything the same real time. Or not real time. Uh, just sunny day. That's all we need here. I love flying helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It is so much fun, but it is so incredibly difficult. But it gives you a different kind of challenge and feel and thrill than flying in a fixed wing aircraft. This, the controls are different. And the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 does an amazing job of flying with helicopters, even with as difficult as it is to fly helicopters, which you will see. So in this video, I'm not actually going to demonstrate how to start up a helicopter. Um, I have other videos on my channel under the Microsoft Flight Simulator playlist that shows how to start up aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So for purposes of this video, because we're focusing on the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 and how it works with helicopters, I'm just going to do the autocomplete here to get this helicopter started up. Checking the collective here. Full travel free up, then down. That's good. Before starting engine, let's auto complete. All right. We are good. Let's go ahead here and get the engine started. Adjusting throttle for the engine down to 1000 RPMs. And if we go to the outside view here, we start to hear noises coming from the engine of this helicopter. Waiting for the RPM to get down to 1000 here. You can see we've got instrumentation lit now. We just have to wait a few minutes here to get this particular helicopter to get where we want it to be. And we're coming down to 1,000 RPMs. Microsoft Flight Simulator is very realistic with uh, all of its settings for aircraft, both fixed wing and helicopter. So we're coming down to 1,000 RPMs now. We're at 
1018, that's close enough. As you can see, the blades of this helicopter are starting. And we're waiting for the clutch light to turn off. Adjusting throttle lever, please wait. Just running through some pre-flight checks here still. Waiting for the engine RPMs to come up to 2,000. Now, at this point, you can actually take off with the helicopter by just increasing the collective. But for good measure, we're going to wait until the auto completes all check. And then we'll be ready to fly. So, well, let's talk a little bit here about the Thrustmaster T Flight HOTUS 1. The Thrustmaster T Flight HOTUS 1 is very sensitive when you're flying in helicopters. If you are not used to flying a helicopter in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I highly suggest you do the training courses because it is, not to say it's difficult, it's very different, let's put it that way. And it takes a lot of different kind of maneuvering to properly fly here. So what we're going to do when we take off is we're actually going to, we're taking off to the northwest. We're actually going to spin around to, I would say, the northeast or east and head over to Manhattan, which is off that way. We'll fly over New York City, up past Central Park, and make a right turn over to the uh, east-ish towards LaGuardia and go ahead and land at one of the parking areas there. I'll land somewhere there. Haven't decided exactly where yet. Um, the, the, what I used on the original free flight map was just for planning purposes here. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we can do here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So our Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 is ready to roll here. So we're gonna very lightly go ahead and increase the collective. You can see the RPMs are going down and we're actually going up slowly here. Uh, I guess we're not ready yet. So waiting for the helicopter to complete its pre-checks here. Let's see where we're at. Like I said, it takes a little while to get these helicopters up and ready here. So we are still and. Engine RPM. It's almost there. Once it gets to 2000, we should then be able to be ready to rock and roll here. There we go, page is complete. After starting engine, uh, I guess I'll just set this to go again. Checking RPM, checking off, Magneto off RPM drop, check. Adjusting throttle lever, please wait. And it's doing its As you can see, we are still not quite ready for flight yet. So we'll just give it one more minute here. So 
So the Thrustmaster T-Fight Hodus 1 fight stick is one of my favorite fight sticks I have ever owned. And I've had a ton all the way back to the Microsoft Sidewinder. This is an amazing entry-level flight stick. Um, I got this from Best Buy about two years ago for $80, and it was worth every penny. So just an awesome, all-around great flight stick. I have no drift issues, no control issues. The throttle is super responsive. The ailerons and the joystick and the flight stick are super responsive. The great build quality. A um, couple things I love about this flight stick, heavy. It sits, it stays where you put it. You can actually separate uh, the throttle and the flight stick by taking out some screws in here, these two right here, using the included aileron key, Allen key, sorry, been playing too much flight simulator, Allen key right here. Take these off, and then these two will separate apart from each other, so you can put one here and one here. I prefer them just to keep them together. Um, doesn't really matter to me. You've got all the different various buttons that you would have on the controller. This controller is basically the same exact thing in the flight stick, just obviously different positions. We've got the buttons here. We've got the rudder controls here, flaps, hat view, as you can see here, centering view. We've got focus view, trigger, and obviously left, right, up, down. So down, up, left, right. We can switch different angles here with the hat. Top down view, backwards view, all that good stuff. And let's see if I can force this item here to auto complete. Let's go ahead and auto complete item. Cold additional carburetor heat. We'll force finish this page here. All right, now we should be ready here to rock and roll. So let's see what happens. So let's increase the collective. And we are airborne. Nice, smooth turns. Oh, as you can see, very sensitive. New York approach Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is type one miles southwest of Newark, 200 feet. We'll go ahead here and point towards to New York Bravo City. Airspace. and tilt forward to get some forward movement and slow our vertical movement. We are on our way. So you can see just how sensitive these controls are here, how fluid it is. Looking over some of the New Jersey here. As we head towards downtown Manhattan. This is not the fastest helicopter in the world, so you'll have to bear with it as we travel towards the Hudson River at 62 miles, 62 knots. vertical speed so we're gaining some altitude here I want to get to about two or three thousand feet and slow down our vertical speed here so as you can see nice fluid motions here 
if I want to turn left, just gently, very gently bank to the left. If I want to do that, just very gently bank to the right. And the, when you're flying in a helicopter, no sudden movements. If you do, you will crash. That's the trick to flying helicopters. Just nice. You can ignore the that. We're not. We're fine. We're not really going for realism here, so I'm not concerned about the learnings about fuel mixtures and all that. It's fine. This is the purpose of this video is to demonstrate the responsiveness of the Thrustmaster T Flight HOTUS 1 Flight Stick. We're heading up towards the Empire State Building now. One of the things I love about helicopters is just the different dynamic of flight. What it's like to fly in a helicopter versus a fixed wing aircraft is totally different. Um, but it's awesome. And they come out with a lot of different activities and flights for helicopters. Some of them were borrowed from Microsoft Flight Simulator X for this new version. Um, I was bummed when this game first came out that they did not introduce helicopters right away because helicopters were always an amazing dynamic of flight simulator. Uh, passing by the World Trade Center, or sorry, Empire State Building. You can go ahead and see it. Right there's the, all over the place here, there it is. And we'll go ahead here and fly over Central Park. Oh, it's getting in a little spin there. So you see what happened. I tilted the rudder by a little bit and it caused me to uh, start to spin there. So I have to fix that compensated for it, which is good. I mean, it's good demonstration for uh, the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 when I do that. So if I do any of that, sometimes it's not on purpose, sometimes it is. I'll let you know if it's going to be on purpose. So we're passing up the Upper East Side here. We're coming up on the Met, which will be right underneath us shortly here. And the uh, Jackie Kennedy Onassis Reservoir there. Central Park's a beautiful place in New York City if you've never been. Uh, it's really cool. They have a lot of nice open areas and nice shade for walking and playing sports, baseball, stuff like that. It's a whole lot of fun. There's tons of baseball diamonds, fields to play on. Don't ever believe that rumor that you can't go there at night. It's just as beautiful at night and is relatively safe. So we're going to go ahead here and bank to the right and leave New York City and head over to LaGuardia. So a nice, gentle, smooth turn. Nothing crazy. This is not a fixed wing airplane. And we can see LaGuardia in the distance there. Coming up on our upper right. And we're just going to find a nice place to try and land this helicopter. We're at about a thousand feet right now. And as I get closer, I'll start to slow my forward speed by depress pulling back on the collect, which I'm at about 75% power right now. Listening to some aircraft air traffic control there. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video of the demonstration of the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 
and how responsive and easy it is to fly helicopters with it in Microsoft Flight Simulator on a Microsoft Xbox Series X. If anybody has any questions or comments or needs help in configuring their Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1, please, as always, just drop a comment to any one of my Thrustmaster videos. And I will always do my best to help you out um, with it. It's an amazing flight stick, and it's just so much fun to fly with. I will absolutely love it. As always, if you guys could click that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be amazing as well. I really appreciate all you guys watching my videos, clicking that like button, giving me your comments and feedback, both positive and negative, about everything, all my videos. And I love hearing your feedback about the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 as well, because I think, like I said, it is an awesome flight stick, and I stand by it 100%.